Hi, today I will show you how I have upgraded enclosure for my original Prusa 3D printer. I am quite pleased with the enclosure from the IKEA lag tables, but there are 5 things I want to improve. Make the side panels detachable, so I can print with PLA, move the LCD screen out of the enclosure, make more space for the extruder up there, add LCD lightning inside the enclosure, and mount the extension cord to the bottom of the table. Original design from Prusa does not have detachable side panels, this can lead to problems during printing with PLA. The idea is to modify the bottom 3D printed corners and make shiftable parts which will lock in the plexi in place. First, let's take the upper table away. Next, there's the 3D printed part. The clip slides but it's very tight and hard to move, which can be beneficial and result with a better hold. The original design with the pin wasn't the best one, so I've cut the pins out and inserted them into the corners. Now it's easier to slide the clips. Now I'm pretty confident that the solution will work. Let's put the upper table on its place. As you can see, it's not the strongest joint, but after setting everything again, it works. The panels stay in place, but the connection is not the best and installing them is inconvenient and too fiddly. I need to think about a better solution, maybe using magnets or something. Let me know if you have any better ideas in the comments below. When printing with ABS, I do not want to open the enclosure to access the LCD display. What's more, the heat can shorten the lifespan of the display. So in my opinion, it's a good idea to move the LCD outside. I've changed the LCD design so it can be mounted below the printer on a hinge in order to access the SD card from the side, like so. First, unscrew the LCD from the frame and remove the original LCD cover. Next, check the fit of the new one and check if SD card still fits. Then mount the upper hinge to the lower table of the enclosure. Next, remove the ribbon cables for the LCD, be careful not to damage them. Drill a hole around the AC board through the lower table so the socket can go through. Connect upper hinge with the new LCD cover using a piece of wire. Print a black hook for the holder and a black knob. Mount the hook. Replace the orange knob. For better ribbon cable management, custom holders were added. Overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. The hook needs an improvement, but otherwise it's perfect. When printing high, the extruder will do strange things with the filaments, so I've decided to make a hole in the upper table. This hole is exactly like with the enclosure version 2, or the enclosure for the Prusa printers with MMU units. This upgrade is quite easy, you just cut a hole, insert the 3D printer rail around it, and that's it. It's quite effective, easy to do, so consider doing this. In order to have a better view of what's going on on the build plate, I've added some LCD lighting. There are few strips at the top of the table, and also right here on the corners. So I'm using these quick Vago connectors in order to connect my LCD strip to the PSU unit. In case of Prusa, there is a 24 volts PSU, so you need to buy 24 volts LED strip. This is really great upgrade, and in the next video I will use Raspberry Pi Zero to control the LED strip. I didn't want my extension cord to be laying on the floor and catching all the dust, so I've made uh, two quick brackets and mounted it to the lower table. So now it's upside down and it's really convenient. I have the main kill switch here. The printer is connected, the lightning is connected and my PC is connected. So far these are all my improvements for the enclosure. I will add Raspberry Pi and Octoprint in the near future. In the meantime you can watch my other videos and remember to subscribe so I can make a giveaway for reaching 100 subscribers on YouTube.